Hey guys, I'm Julia, welcome to my channel. Um, I just went like southern for a second right there. Hey guys, I'm Julia, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's makeup look is a very simple, very natural, very wearable, natural, no makeup makeup look. Just kidding. Um, obviously today's look is a very fun, festival makeup look. I wanted to play around with these NYX eyeliners that I purchased that finally came back in stock and they're so much fun to use. I see everyone always creating really cool like eyeliner art and stuff with them and I've been wanting to get them for so long and they finally came back in stock so I uh, sniped them. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a while and festival season is rolling around even though I'm <laughs> not going to any festivals but that's fine, other people are. This video is in collaboration with the wonderful Carol. Um, I met her last year at Gen Beauty and I've been following her ever since. She's really awesome and really good at makeup and has really fun videos on YouTube so make sure you check out her channel and subscribe to her as well and if you are here from her channel, thank you for checking out my video and I hope you liked it and subscribe to see more videos in the future. If you are going to a music festival and want to try this out for that or if you just want to play with some color like I did, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna do this festival rainbow freckle look thing. I've had this idea for a really long time but I haven't had time to film in probably like a month I think. So. We'll see how it turns out. I haven't even tried it. Hopefully it comes out because I don't have time to refilm this video. But yeah, my eye make my face makeup is all done. Foundation, concealer, bronzer, highlighter, blush, brows, mascara, bum, 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 bum. I already did concealer on my eyelids as primer. So I'm gonna start my eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Up close and personal. Maybe a little too close. Huh? We'll go here, that's better. I'm gonna take my Morphe M504, it's this fluffy dome crease brush, and I'm gonna take Burnt Orange, which is right here. I'm just gonna put this in my corners, all the way from inner to outer crease. I like to work back and forth, like windshield wiper motions, I guess, um, when I'm spraying it across my crease, and then when I'm blending out the inner and outer corner parts of my crease, I do circles. Eyelids, okay, also I had an allergic reaction because I spent too much time with a cat the other day. Come on, Jules, you're allergic to cats. You should know that. I do know that, but. Yeah, I was with a cat for like two hours the other day at my friend's apartment and for some weird reason recently when my allergies have been acting up, my eyelids have been getting like dry and red. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but like, Right here and right here, I have these like weird dry patches on my eyelid. You can see it here. They look like kind of scaly. I don't, but excuse that. I'm gonna take Real Guard right here on this brush, which is not clean. And I'm gonna put this in my crease and it's a little bit darker of an orange. So I'm gonna put it more focused in my crease here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back and blend those two together. I honestly tend to blend my eyeshadows out between like every step because I'm kind of OCD about it when it comes to blending my eyeshadows together because I hate when eyeshadows aren't blended together. The next thing I'm gonna do is use my M330 brush, which is another Morphe like dome blending brush, but it's a little more pointed. I'm gonna take a red ochre right over here and put this in my crease as well and just keep it right directly in my crease. I'm not going to bring it up really at all. I'm going to bring it all the way across my crease and then I'm also going to bring it down to my outer corner here. Just a little bit like this outer V and blend. Now I'm going to use these, my Stila stuff, which I haven't used it yet. I got it like a month ago, haven't tried it. So let's see, I mean, I know it's gonna be like, good God, because everyone's using it and talking about it, but <laughs> I'm excited. 
I want to like put this all over my face. So if anyone wants to see that kind of makeup tutorial, I'm so down to do it. This shit's awesome. And take that red ochre again on this brush and just blend the edges of this out. This glitter is everywhere. I feel like people don't usually try and blend it. But it doesn't, like, it's all over my face, but like, I'm fine with that. Now, I'm gonna do just like a thin line of eyeliner. I already have a little bit of roller lash on my eyelashes from the beginning of my day. I'm just gonna put some false eyelashes on. These are the Kiss, I think it's like 11 or 111 or something. They're pretty much the same as the Ardell Wispies, they're just a different brand. Um, I'm gonna take Real Gar, oh god, that orange that I did in the crease on a E36 brush from Morphe and just put this all along my, lash, my lower lash line. I'm just putting a little bit of roller lash on my bottom lashes. I'm keeping the lower lash line pretty simple just because I'm gonna have the freckles right underneath. Okay, so those are the eyes done. That Stila stuff is so pretty. So, when I thought of this makeup look idea, I was like, I need to purchase those NYX liquid liners, but they're always sold out. Like I, they were sold out for so long. But when I went on their website to get them to do this, they were all there. I was so excited. I've been wanting them for so long. So I'm using these NYX Vivid Brights for um, this. They're all just Vivid Bright liquid eyeliner. They're really thin, colorful, really pigmented. So I'm probably gonna keep most of the freckles that I'm putting on my face more like warm tone colors, so I'm gonna stick to these four. Um, but I am gonna do like a little pop of blue in there probably, and probably this like lavender color. And I'm gonna start with the yellow just because I feel like it's the most forgiving and I'm probably gonna fuck this up. <laughs> I'm gonna start on my nose. Um, it's a really thin brush, so it'll be easy just to do very thin dots. So I'm just gonna start on my nose and dot this. Do different sizes. Probably have the most freckles be yellow. Just because you, you literally can't even really see them. Can you? Kind of, maybe. The next color I'm going to use for this is orange. I'm just going to do the same thing, I'm just going to dot around and see. Woo! It's so cute! I'm going to go in with the red color. Now, this is really where we could potentially go wrong, but I wanna have a little pop of blue. Oh no, this is good, this will be cute. And I really am only doing like a couple dots of blue because the blue, since all the rest of the colors are really warm, the blue is gonna stick out, like pop the most. And then I'm going to do some lavender here, do you see one? Oh, you can barely see this. I'm kind of going in with the lavender because you really can't even tell. And then now I'm going to use the pink. Should I throw some green in? Or will that just kill it? I'm going to do like four green on each side and just hope it doesn't look bad. I 
Alrighty, the green looks good. I'm gonna do some dots of blue along my crease, that's what I'm gonna do. So to do this, because I have hooded eyelids, I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Okay, and now I'm gonna um, close my eyes and make them bigger now that I know where they're supposed to go. Oh yeah, that's cool. Can you see it? And then I'm also gonna do um, the pink. I'm gonna do the same thing with the three and I'm gonna do it on the inner corner. I'm gonna use a couple of the colors and just do like a few dots on my cupid's bow. So I did some on my cupid's bow and I did the freckles and I did a couple dots on my eyelids. I'm actually gonna put a color in my waterline. I'm gonna put some little baby blue. This is a ColourPop cream gel liner in Prance. It's just like baby blue, lavender, per periwinkle, periwinkle. I'm using the um, Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked um, to line my lips. Obviously. And I'm gonna fill my lips in with this too. I was gonna put a gloss over this, but I kinda like it how it is. All right, I'll just keep it there. Alrighty, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. Um, I kinda just wanted to do this like really cool really fun rainbow freckle thing. Um, I've had this idea for a while, so I was really excited to finally try it, and it actually worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. I am not going to Coachella. Um, if you're still watching, you must have liked something about this video, so give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Even though I haven't been posting very much, but I will, I promise I'll start posting again soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. <laughs> Deuces. Gabby?